Hello everybody, John here, and today onto the garage, a very quick one. If you've got a panel van conversion, whether this sort of size, Ducato, or smaller, like a T5, have you wanted for your side door to stop where you want it to stop rather than only being able to be shut or fully open whilst remaining safe. Well, lots of people including me do because their interior layer is a little like this and they've got their kitchen sort of halfway across the door and it's quite nice on occasion to be able to draw the door back to here to keep a little bit of draft off the cooking area or your sink and leave you with more of a habitation door style gap. If you're even slightly handy at home, make your own gadget. And I'm not gonna spend long on it because it really is that simple. Step one, get yourself a strip of aluminium. Mine is 13 mil wide, but anywhere between about 10 and 15 is fine. And mine's three and a half mil thick. You need to have about a hundred millimeters length. That's not a critical dimension though. I've just got scrap line around, so it's costing me nothing, but you can go to your local DIY store and pick up a piece of extrusion. Anything much more than about four millimeters is too thick and will jam your door mechanism. Next, find the approximate centre and get yourself a half round file and on that centre line start to file like so and you want to keep your file as flat and level as you can. A little bit of wandering is not going to hurt. And we're trying to file a divot in the middle of this piece of aluminium. A half round or crescent shaped divot. Like so. And I would suggest you want to go down to just reduce the thickness of this by just a little bit more than half. I'm going to go a little deeper, but only to smooth it off if I'm honest. about where I want it. Now what I want to do is about a centimetre from this groove, score myself a line on both sides and then after that line taper this down to a really sharp point taking off this surface. So I locked it in my vice so my file can touch that and I can't go back any further. Gives me a start. I'm not taking much off at this end. Mainly I'm going to be taking it off this end, but it's unsupported. So pop it in my vice at a slight angle. Nice engineer trick. Put some marker pen or pencil or anything. You can see where you're filing and where you're not. Helps you start off straight and flat with the filing. Because sometimes people who aren't very um, familiar with filing will be filing away like this, thinking that they're flat. So, a little bit of filing, a little bit of ink or something else. It would be engineer's blue back in the day. And you want to try and take off material the whole way across 
the piece, which tells you your filing is good, flat and level, like that. There we are. What I've got to do now is repeat that on the other end, which I won't bore you with. So by the power of YouTube. So what's critical on this is you have thin edges. And that that radius that you've made in there approximates to the radius of your rollers on your door track. And we're going to have a look at that now. Most, if not all, vans have the same system for a sliding door, if indeed they have a sliding door. And that is three rails. One along the middle of the van with three rollers, one touching the bottom and two stopping those rollers from jumping out. Another one doing exactly the same at the bottom. And another set of three at the top. These are the easiest ones to see so you can appreciate how it all works. You could apply this device we've just made to any one of those three tracks. I'm actually going to use it on the middle one, even though it's the most visible. Our device is going to be practically invisible, same sort of colour as a stainless steel track. And of course, it's really easy to see what you're doing and position it correctly. Our little roller is now going to roll up the ramp and settle in the divot in the middle. And I can push it further and it'll roll down the other side. And that gives us our extra detent or holding position for the door. Please note this device will not lock the door at where you want it. It just holds it, gives it some resistance. It will only lock in the forward and the back position. So still be aware, little fingers, all the rest of it, or parking on steep slopes. The door may roll out of your device and close or fully open. To find the right position for your device, just move your door to the place where you think, right, that's where I want it to stop. And for me, that's about there, level with the front edge of the kitchen cabinet. Look at your track, make a mental note of where the middle of the roller sits, and then move the door out of the way. And then place your device in the track it's that simple you can obviously mark it with a pencil and you're going to be attaching this with some double-sided foam back tape the thinnest stuff you can possibly get before you commit to sticking it down you can test your device it won't move around too much and it's at this point you can see why it's got to be quite thin if it's too thick it will lift your roller system up too far and it'll jam under the top part of the rail. It's got it. And a bit hard to film because the door's in the way. If I, if I push it away from me, it climbs back off the ramp. And on my van, you can see the gap above the black element to the stainless. If that was closed up, it would jam as well. Right, flash forward a few minutes. I've put my foam tape on the back. As you can see, it's stuck down. But I've not taped all the way to the edges. And that means that the ends can push down and give a very close contact with the stainless. Now, the roller that's going to go over this is plastic they do wear out anyway but we don't want to speed it up so you don't want to have a big step for it to jump up and down hence keeping it as flush to the stainless as you can and the thickness of foam 
right to the edge just adds a little bit of extra step so that's the way I've done mine the worst that could happen is over time this comes loose and falls off and you lose it but it costs you nothing you can make yourself two or three at the same time and you're ready to do a replacement or maybe you position two along the rail to give you two different stop positions well i hope you enjoyed that and that could be of use to some of you uh, see you soon if you're enjoying our channel then don't forget to subscribe and click the little bell icon so you get notifications of new videos and please give us a thumbs up or thumbs down and you can share the videos and below the video is always the area where you can comment and get involved with the chat.